So, we are tenth C. Actually, many times the headmaster of the time thought of hacking this entire section. Teachers like me, they want me to visit the headmaster's room pretty often. We wanted to do something to disrupt her life. And of course, she did not notice and some of them were giggling. That one thing made me in such a way that uh, I never forget… forgot that one teacher. <laughs> There is one teacher among many that Sri Sadhguru fondly remembers, that is Miss Sarasa. Namaskar Sadhguru. <coughs> you are back in the campus after almost fifty years. Forty-five. Forty-five years. What does it feel to be back? Well, no school kept me for more than one year. This is one school which kept me for two years. <laughs> so I'm grateful <laughs> for that <laughs> I have to admit, uh, I was not much of a student. I did come to school whenever it was must. Of all the schools that I went to, one one year, one one year I was in different schools. So the very fact that I spent two years in this school, I enjoyed this school most. I must… I must share how uh, I remember Saraswati. Sarasa? Sarasa? Sarasa. I… I… I won't take that liberty <laughs> The first day, she is walking from Regional College of Education. It was called RCE at that time. It's changed now? Yeah, now RIE. Okay. Now RIE. Okay. So Regional College of Education, we knew we are getting a new English teacher. She did not come at the beginning of the term, she came after a month or two after the… started. So we are tenth C. Actually many times the headmaster of the time, thought of hacking this entire section and throwing us into a lake or something. It did not happen, but many times he got the thought. <laughs> so, she is walking in… Can, can I describe? I'm… I was outside with a couple of the boys. We are just saying, okay, who is this new teacher because… Uh, Nobody really wants to come into our class. So I remember Sarasu… I'm sorry, Saraswati <laughs> sorry <laughs> walking this way and uh, in a white, heavily starched cotton sari with some butta, you know, like a peacock, she walked <laughs> Well, we carefully examined her. And uh, we thought, oh, we… we discussed and where is she coming from, where is she thought before? No, she just passed and she's coming, oh, this is it. <laughs> Can she handle us? <laughs> because she's just out of the college. And uh, then she came into the class and uh, we were the first class that she handled. And uh, just to probably, as a new teacher, I'm sure she was nervous <laughs> As a new teacher wanting to reach out, she walked across the room and uh, she remembers that I was in the last table. At that time it was table and chair, still so? Oh, benches. At that time it was table and chair, we had our own little thing that we could do and uh, so we… we wanted to do something to disrupt her life <laughs> So talking to the class, she came and uh, probably she wanted to reach out to the last bench and show that she is a concerned teacher. When she came and uh, she was facing the other side and leaning on my table, so I felt inspired. 
And I opened my pen and let out my pen on a white starch sari which very readily absorbed all of it. And of course she did not notice and some of them were giggling, who are here and still giggling. <laughs> then she went, probably somebody in the staff room would have told her that there's a big patch of ink. Then after in the lunch hour or after lunch hour, post lunch hour, I was in the classroom, I was called to come to the staff room. I thought one more suspension <laughs> because I was… I don't know, in those two years, I think I was suspended at least six times. <laughs> so, I went there, she asked me for my pen, I gave it to her. I thought she is going to confiscate my pen as proof of empty pen. Then she took out an ink bottle, filled it and gave it back to me. I said, thank you ma'am and went back to the class. <laughs> that one thing made me in such a way that uh, I never forget… forgot that one teacher <laughs>